Hi there, I'm meteorologist Pamela Gardner. We had record cold once again this morning. Boston hit a low of two below, tying the record set in 1896. And in Worcester, we shattered the low record. The new record now nine below, and the old record five below, set in 1942. Well, we're going to get rid of some of these bitter cold temperatures, not tonight, but over the next 24 hours as a warming trend kicks in for the seven day forecast. By the end of the seven day, we're looking at temperatures pushing the 60 degree mark. That is going to feel fantastic. But lows tonight, we have to get through the low teens and some single digits out there, too. Eight degrees in Bedford, 12 for Boston, 10 in Plymouth, and 13 degrees in Hyannis. With a breeze, it's still going to feel like below zero for much of the early part of the night. The wind relaxes a bit, coming more from the south, and Monday morning will feel like the single digits. Not as bad as the last several nights, and then Monday afternoon, warming up to a wind chill forecast in the low 20s with the real feel. Actual temperatures mid to upper 30s and maybe some 40 degrees too to the south and east across Nantucket and the Outer Cape. But 35 in Boston, a high of 34 at Bedford, and let the thaw begin. It is going to be a messy thaw the next several days though, and we could also be watching for ice jams across the rivers, across the higher elevations here in northern parts of Massachusetts and even into Vermont, New Hampshire, as well as Maine. So keep that in mind. Hour by hour timing, our next system moves in as we see. That warming trend. Monday morning, we're good. Monday evening, that commute could be a little dicey with some slick road conditions as some light scattered snow showers will fall. Outside 128 and a couple snow showers across southeastern Mass, too. Brief period of snow across Cape Ann. Can't rule out that possibility either. But then this turns to a wintry mix across the Cape and Islands as we see some milder temperatures. And it's a quick moving system. It's out of here for Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon. More brilliant sunshine for both those days, Tuesday into Wednesday. And by the way, with that accumulation, maybe a dusting up to an inch or so. Nothing we can't handle. The jet stream flow, this is why we're going to see some milder temperatures as we see the jet stream push farther to the north. That Arctic jet stream way to the north of us, and we will see some milder temperatures as a result. Thursday into Fridays, we get a surge of warmer air from the south and west. Fantastic high temperatures in the seven day right here. We go from 30s Monday into Tuesday, Wednesday 33 to some 40s on Thursday. Friday 55, chance for some heavy rain, and the showers continue into Saturday as we near the 60 degree mark.